fight, the crowd kind of was against you, but you really got a positive reaction coming out this time. And then at the end of the fight, you got sort of a, a superstar reaction. Um, is there something specific that you attribute to that? Um, and do you feel like uh, you kind of attain that superstar level? You got a good reaction out of me after his last fight. <laughs> <laughs> Eu fico muito feliz porque estou sentindo que cada luta que eu estou melhorando meu jogo e o público tem gostado bastante. Esse é um dos meus objetivos é agradar os meus fãs. I'm just real happy because every time I come out, I try to get better and better and try to improve and finish fights, and it just makes me feel good when I go out there and uh, do the kind of job that I did, and the fans uh, are, are cheering for me and get on my side. That's my goal is to please my fans. So it is a it is a important then to have that positive reaction. É muito importante porque os fãs é que vão promover o evento. Se não forem os fãs, não existe isso aqui. Yes, the fans are very important because if it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't be here. Dana? To the left. Here. Sorry, Dana. Um, to the left, I left to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Long way. He is dumb. <laughs> you mentioned it was a big night. Do you envision Super Bowl weekend 2010 here in Vegas? Should Anderson Silva and GSP still hold, it, hold their titles that maybe you have an even bigger night down the line and pair them up? Yeah, I, I think it's possible. I think that, uh, you know, I, right now what I think we should do is guys should stay in their weight class for a while. But, you know, I'm a fan of super fights. And, and I think that, you know, if these guys continue to go unbeaten and they keep fighting, what I like to see, I like to see uh, weight classes cleaned out. When you empty a division and, you know, you're looking for that next challenge, why not step up and try to take it? Do I think it'll be by Super Bowl of next year? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I honestly couldn't answer that. Would I like to see those two fight? Absolutely. John, um, you're a young guy fighting on what was a real amazing fight card tonight. Um, how is your pro debut was in April? How is it you were just able to make the, the leap from, I guess, college wrestler to UFC fighter in what seems like a matter of months? Uh, I guess what I have to say just how serious I, uh, I take this sport. And, you know, I, I do this for my family. I do this to be a provider. And, uh, you know, I know with uh, the UFC, you have to win to stay in. And I, I believe that every man puts his pants on in the morning exactly the same. And you know, I knew I was a huge underdog. And you know, I basically, I just I went in there with a mission, and, and I had to get the job done. Dana, over here. One of the big up promotional things for the show was the UFC primetime show. What did you think about how that show went, and when would we see something like that again? I thought it went well, you know. I don't know if everybody saw it, but the last, you know, the ending of the last episode was so awesome. I, I literally watched it 60,000 times myself. Um, it was a good experience, you know. Obviously, me and BJ got into a big fight during the show, but other than that, um, it was uh, it was good. And yeah, we'll do it again. I, I think we'd save prime time for uh, you know a couple of big fights a year, maybe three, most. But yeah, we'll definitely do it again. And would it be for Mir and, Mir and Lesnar? Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I, gotta, I have to really think about it. Brock would throw them out. Huh? Brock would throw those guys out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brock would be rough. Brock, he thought BJ was rough. <laughs> True. Dana, just uh, maybe on a lighter side, curious on your take on the undercard. A guy comes out and drag. Does a little disco, disco thing, then steps in the ring, gets his ass kicked. What, what's, what's, your, what's your take on that? Let me tell I was saying this before the fight. He, he comes out and like does the dance and rehearses with his cornerman. And uh, there aren't too many guys that can pull that off. He does it, actually. I, I like him. I, I think he's, and any of you that know the Japanese culture, that they're like that. That's the way they are over there. And, and uh, he's a funny guy. He's a good guy. And uh, let me tell you what, there aren't too many people that aren't going to get their ass kicked when they face John Fitch. He fought a real guy, so. But when you wear a dress, you'd probably better win. I. <laughs> <laughs>